Sup, nerds? Hey, we're doing a different video today, all right? We're going to be playing a video game instead of opening Pokemon cards, but we're still hunting for stuff. We're still hunting for those big rares, you know? We're going to be shiny hunting in Pokemon Legends Arceus today, and I'm going to be showing you the outbreak method. Let's jump in. So here we are, in-game. First thing you need to do is have gone to the very first level and have gone through the bridge. The bridge, the bridge, the bridge. That's the most important part of this whole method. You won't be able to do the outbreak method until you've crossed the bridge at the very beginning of the game. Boom, right here. Once you're able to go through here and beyond, you're able to do the outbreak method. Let's give it a try. Shall we? <laughs> there's there's the cleaver that I just evolved from the shiny scyther. Uh, very cool. You'd love to see it, but we're gonna we're gonna start fresh. So after you've made sure that you're able to cross the bridge, next thing is to stock up on items. You're gonna need a few pokeballs. I've got some wing balls and some jet balls. I've got some orange berries to distract the Pokemon. I've got some balls of mud to stun the Pokemon. Some smoke bombs just in case the Pokemon that I'm hunting doesn't have any coverage. I can pop down some smoke bombs and hide. Ultra balls just in case, leading balls just in case you get a sneaky little back throw on them, you know? Um, and that's usually the loadout that I go in with. I think I've also got some uh, some stealth spray as well, and some revives and some some potions, just, just in case. We'll jump in. There is an outbreak. I'm hearing reports of one of those mass outbreaks out there. Stay safe, kid. It is still the Scyther, so we are going to go and try to go for a, another Scyther because, hey, I wouldn't say no to a shiny scissor as well you know what i mean so once you found your outbreak you jump in what i do is i get real close to laventon right here like uncomfortably close hey dude how you doing what's up and then i bring up the map make sure that the uh, outbreak is already marked then i drop a save and then you just need to make your way over to the outbreak thankfully the scyther one is fairly close by um we just need to kind of hop over this area and then there they are look just hanging out. Now, the next thing you need to do is clear the outbreak. So there's usually I, I, four to four to 12 different Pokemon that can spawn or something like that. I'm not sure about the numbers, um, but essentially once you once you come down here, oh, need to hide in a bush. Once you come down here, you should get the outbreak message, which will pop up on the screen, which where is it? There it is. There it is. I don't know if you need to trigger that message. I usually do just in case. And then we just start tossing, baby. We just start tossing. Basically, the goal is to clear out every single Pokemon that can spawn in this outbreak um, to see if one of them will spawn as a shiny. If they do, catch it and you're done. If they don't, I'll show you. Stay in the ball, Scyther. Now, once you see that uh, the reported Pokemon seem to be gone, that means there were no shinies included in that outbreak. So what you do next is reset your game. <sighs> Having a Red Bull. Once the game reloads, we are in the save file where we have already gone and checked that outbreak for shinies, and there were none, so we don't need to go back to that, that outbreak. We need a new outbreak of Scyther, so what we do is we talk to Leventon, and we go back to the village. That's why I get as close as him to possible. Uh, that's why I get as close as... Oh my god. That's why I get as close to him as possible before saving. It just makes it easier when you reload. And then all you need to do is go back. If Scyther is there again, you go back. If he's not there again, you just reset. Leventon, I presume. Bring me back to the city, sir. Uh, we got our Scyth Scyther outbreak again. So we'll head on back and just repeat the process now. Uh, I think I could probably just pick off from up here even. Go. It's just too fun. I just I can't help myself. Are you coming? Are you coming to murder me? We'll murder them first. So you can attack. Uh, the Scythers as well. Whatever Pokemon you're hunting, you can attack them as well. That gets rid of them. You can catch them, or you can scare them away. Whatever makes them go away and trigger a new Scyther to respawn, doesn't matter what it is, as long as you get through every single one in that outbreak. No shiny that time. Perhaps next time. One thing that I have noticed, and I don't know if it's just my weird luck, or if there's something going on in the game. If I find myself six to seven resets in on the same on the same outbreak, um, if I switch to a different Pokemon, if I go to a different outbreak, more times than not, the first or second time that I try the new outbreak, I'll get a shiny of that Pokemon instead. Switching it up every now and then may not be a bad idea instead of putting, you know, four or five hours into the same Pokemon, because you might just 
You might just get lucky and get a different shiny. And then you can go back to the one that you uh, were hunting later on. Raichu, use the Thunderbolt. Pretty good, eh? Do you guys like my fancy lad, by the way? My fancy man? This is how he teabags. It's very important. If you catch a shiny, you got a teabag. That is the rule. I will consider this a video of failure if I don't catch a shiny in the video. So we're, we're, we're in it for the long haul. We're getting a shiny in this video guaranteed or else the video is not going to be uploaded. So if, if you're watching this video, know that at some point in this video, I'm going to catch a shiny. There you go. Look, now they'll never see us. He's got no idea where we are. Idiot. Oh, idiot. Ah! So we're at the point now where I've been filming for an hour. Still no shiny Scyther. So the next time we see a Pokemon that might be more interesting than Scyther, we'll probably take it. And it's gone. We've got Rotom instead, or Zoroark, or Golduck. Now Rotom is one of my favorite Pokemon. I love this little man. I love this little dude. And I've never seen a Rotom swarm before. Um, and look at that. It's pretty close to where we spawn too. So this will be an easy one to check. Oh, it's an Alpha Rotom. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he's really mad too. Okay, that's fine. Let's just throw a Pokeball at him. Oh! Okay, no, he's not having it now. He's pissed. He's pissed. He's he's large and in charge. Oh my god, look at him. What is what is his movements? Are you okay? I think he's fine. Gah, no, not don't jump into the electricity, you dumbass. Oh no! Okay, we got a shiny Rotom. Did you guys see that? We did it! Oh my god. Oh god! Everything is pain. Everything is pain. I didn't want a shiny Rotom, but we're gonna get it, because that means I can end this video, because I've been recording for almost an hour and a half. <laughs> okay, so there is a lot more difference than I thought. He's, uh, he's like orange instead of, instead of blue. That's really cool. Cross your fingers. Yeah! We done did it. We got ourselves a shiny. On camera. In a video. Run away! <laughs> oh my god, the murderous ghosts are after us. Get out of here. Okay. No. No! This actually triggered a cutscene, which means I need to reload and catch the goddamn shiny again. Everything's fine. This is just good proof that if you save when you first see a shiny, you can just reload your save and not have to worry about it. This is fine. Everything's fine. Still going to, according to plan. Stay in the ball. Yes! Okay, all right. <laughs> Second time is the charm. Let's go to a different camp this time. Boom. Look at that. Shiny Rotom. And we got three grand as a prize. It's pretty great. And there you go. It might not be the one we initially started out hunting, but it's still a shiny, and it still only took an hour and a half, where getting a shiny like Rotom in older games may have taken you days. This is ridiculous, and he's adorable. And I love him. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know how many resets there were. But I hope you enjoyed. We got our shiny. Let me know if you guys have gotten any shinies yourself. If you have the game at all. If maybe you might want to get the game now. Just let me know in the comments. We'll have a chit chat about it. I'm loving it. It's been great. We're going to do more streams of this. And I hope to see you guys there. Enjoy Legends Arceus. Enjoy your shinies. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.